Now your summer outfits are giving you a joyful glow. What about your makeup? Here with tips to get you sun kissed and fabulous is Grace Lee. Thank you so much. <laughs> But first of all, Lori beat me here. Like, <laughs> fastest uh, transition ever, Lori. And you're going to be modeling for us for this segment. So glow, glow, glow. The summer glow. What do we have to think about when it comes to that summer glow up? I always think about bronzer and glow up products mm. as kind of a fake sun. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah, so, but... You always, I always think less is more. Mm -hmm. You want to look sun-kissed, maybe a little sunburnt, but not like you've been burnt <laughs> for a week. Right. If you know what I mean. Well, we've talked about this before. When you do the bronzer all over your face and you just come out looking like a robot. Like, that's not what we're looking yes. for, a full silver face, and right? And remember, they like bronzer because they're more in the orangey tones. They yeah. will oxidize. They will get darker right. as the day progresses. So I always think, you know, if you think you have a little bit of color on the face, uh -huh. stop. It's enough. It's enough. <laughs> okay. So on one side of Lori's face, I'm going to do more emollient products. Okay. And then on the other side, I'm going to do um, powder. And there's oh, no right okay. or wrong, but I do feel like this is just a little bit more controlled. Yeah. You always want to make sure you go into the hairline. Yeah. And I always kind of think of bronzer as like where the sun hits your face naturally. That just looks Forehead, so nice. cheeks nose, chin, and always try to get underneath the, the chin as well. Okay. And I kind of think about like a three shape. Right. So three under the cheekbones and then also kind of like along the jaw, under the jaw, and also like right down the neck. When you're choosing between emollient and powder, are you looking at if my skin is more oily, I'm going to stick with powders? If my skin is more dried and normal, like my skin, I'm going to go with emollient? Good question. I think it also depends on how much glow you want. Okay. But yes, if you have oily skin, I would recommend more of a powder. Yeah. And more drier skins go with more emollient. Okay. But again, there's no right or wrong. All right. So, and I think a smaller brush will give you more controlled finish. Right. Um, and then a big powder brush... I find also just goes on, like I said, less is more. Nice. So you can also get that on very quickly. Okay, so in terms of do's and don'ts, don't put it everywhere. Do do the number three. Now, if we want to have that sunburnt look, because sunburn apparently, uh, the blush, it's a thing. Sunburnt is a thing. Yes, How do we make it thing. look cute and not cringy? Okay, so my suggestion is blush always goes on after bronzer. Okay. And use a cream, because I feel like that's easier to blend through. Yes. And so, again, I'm going to put that, apply that on top of the bronzer. Uh -huh. And then, you know, do both cheeks. And that already is giving a lot of warmth to the skin. Yeah. And then whatever is left on your brush, you don't want to add more. Just brush a little bit on the nose. Oh, that's nice. So what we're seeing a lot in, you know, some so some of the social media is like a really red. No, you don't want that. That's not what we want. Put the brush down. <laughs> Put it down. <laughs> you don't want it to look very, very noticeably red right across. No, and I think maybe that might look good on like 13-year-olds. Maybe even not. not maybe I don't not. even know. Yes. But yeah, Put just the brush down. A little bit of light, a little bit of a light rub there. Can we talk a little bit about highlighter yes. for adding a glow? What should we be doing with our highlighter? Again, now it feels like you don't have to do emollient emollients. Yeah. You can mix it up. You can do like a powder with an emollient yeah. or vice versa. Okay. What I suggest also is if you want the glow with a bit of shimmer, you mm -hmm. can do that. Mm -hmm. I do recommend if you have a lot of fine lines, then stick with a more emollient product. Sure. So I'm applying that just on the high planes of the face. You can do that on the bridge of the nose. Just think you want like a bit of that kind of sun shimmer. And how do you know where to apply that highlighter? So you, you like it is underneath the, the eye area and the nose. Are you looking for where the sun hits you? It's almost like on the highest plane of the cheek. Okay. So it's like literally kind of on top of the bronzer. Yeah. And a, I'm talking about the alphabet, but like, again, yeah. it's like a C, kind of oh, wrapped okay. around the I. Okay, a C and an right E. Right here. A C, C is e. bronzer. Yes. <laughs> C is highlighter. But you can also do something more emollient, and I'm doing that on top of the powder. Yeah. And this is a little bit more sheer. It's a little bit more dewy. Mm -hmm. And I mean, glowy and dewy 
you just don't want the dew in the wrong places, but dew yeah. in the right places is beautiful, like I always say. Right. Okay, so if we are, you're looking amazing, you're looking sun-kissed, and she hasn't even hit the sun yet? Nope. How do we complete the look? I would say a gloss, because, yeah. and I mean, this color kind of looks like very bronzy and scary. It's beautiful. But I think gloss is always so sheer. Yeah. And I love how, like, literally it's called bronze. Yeah. And it just instantly gives, like, a beautiful warmth. That's one of my favorites, actually, from that line. I, I love it. Anything with a little bit of metallic, with a it little bit of beautiful. shimmer, is a gorgeous thing. And a gloss is a good way to try a color that you might be okay. a little bit nervous about. Yes. You put it on the eyes, too. And right? now I'm just, like, dabbing a tiny bit on the eyes. Just for, like, you know when you're in the sun and your yeah. eyelids get a little dewy? Yeah. I love that. Okay. And it's just, like, a tiny bit, and she just looks, like, perfect with this caftan. It looks fantastic. <laughs> And if you cannot get away, pretend. Pretend. Right? It's all about to pretend. Also, you can just sit in your backyard and get some sun or in your front <laughs> on your stoop and get some sun. But it's really nice if you can throw a caftan on and get on a plane, right? Exactly. Gracie, thank you so much thank for that. You. Time